Namaste. Welcome to all of you who are joining me today. I am Lisa. Today we will start the practice in simple cross-legged seated position. So rest your palms over your knees. Palms can be facing up or facing down. You can wiggle your pelvis slightly, find your two sitting bones. Ground yourself onto the earth through your sitting bones. And yet at the same time, sitting tall through your spine, reaching up through the crown of your head. And from there, close your eyes. Be with your breath. Following your inhale and exhale. Taking air in and expelling air out through your nostrils. Let your breath guide you inward and away from the external world. Be present with your breath. Let's complete another three rounds of, of full and deep breaths. And with your next inhale, open your eyes. Slide your right palm. Uh, Sorry, right hand with the palms down and fingers pointing in and slide it under your um, right hip and drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. A couple more breaths. And bring your head back to the center, release your right hand. Now slide the left hand under with the left palm down, finger pointing in. And sit your left hip on your left, uh, left hand, over your left hand. And drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. One more breath. And then head back to the center, release the left hand. Bring your chin towards your chest. Press the shoulder blades down. And from there, tilt the chin up, look up as you hike the shoulder blades up towards your ears. Press the shoulders down, chin towards your chest. Chin up. Shoulder blades up, chin down, shoulders down, chin up, shoulders up, keep going for a couple more. And bring your head back to the center, look forward. <coughs> Press your hands uh, over your shoulders. Bring the elbows to touch in front of your chest. And start circling your arm bones around the shoulder socket. And from there, bring your shoulder blades to join into the movement. So spread the shoulder blades, bring them up, squeeze them at the back and press them down 
as you continue to circle the arms and from the reverse the direction of the circle still mobilizing both uh, the arm bones and the shoulder blades Okay, last one and release come into a tabletop position so shoulders over your wrist and hips over your knees with the fingers pointing forward start to circle around your wrist while keeping the arms uh, both arms straight so about five circles and then reverse it so move uh, rather slowly so you can feel the body weight um, kind of move around uh, your palms as you circle around the wrist All right and from there turn the palms so that the fingers are now pointing out uh, facing the long edges of your mat and same thing Five circle in one direction. And reverse. When you complete that, you will turn the palms one more time so that now the fingers are pointing towards the back. So be very gentle. Um, fingertips don't have to be pointing all the way to the back they might be like slightly out this way at an angle it's fine and same thing five circle in one direction it will be a much smaller circle and reverse and from there one hand at a time turn the palm so that the fingers are pointing forward and we'll proceed with some uh, spinal articulation in cat and cow so as we take the next inhale we'll start to arch from the lower back mid back upper back neck is last bringing the head to look up pause after inhale and as you start to exhale, start to round from the lower back, mid back, upper back, and neck is again last. Looking towards your belly button. Pause after exhale. And, and just start the next inhale, start to extend or arch from the lower back, all the way up to the neck. Pause. Exhale, initiating from the lower back. Come into flexion, pause, inhale, extension, pause, exhale, flexion, and pause, and keep going for several more repetitions. So slow down both the breathing and the spinal articulation so you can really feel different parts of your spine as you breathe in and out and move segmentally rather than move the spine as like a one piece so, um, that's why the cue of initiating from the lower back is therefore to segment the movement Okay, with the next inhale, we turn into neutral spine. <coughs> Sit on your heels. Next inhale, come up into kneeling. With the right hand, grab 
the left wrist, exhale side bend to the right side, and pull the left hand um, to the right. Inhale center, and now left wrist, uh, left hand grab the right wrist, exhale side bend to the left, pull the right arm to the left. Inhale center, exhale sit, and then walk back into all four. Tuck the toes, big breath in, and exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in downward dog for one more breath. And inhale, walk your feet towards your hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, slowly unroll yourself up into standing. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. The next inhale, come up into child's pose. Arms extended forward. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, step the right leg back. Lower the back knee. Untuck the toes. So already in a quite low uh, pelvis position. Uh, 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 what you usually call the crescent lunge. Inhale, arms up. And thinking of extending up through the crown of the head, then arch back from the thoracic spine. And the next exhale, lower onto your fingertips, stay light on the fingertips. Round the upper back slightly and step back into tabletop, exhale, child's pose, inhale, kneeling with the arms reaching up, exhale, arch back, and lower, child's pose, press back up into tabletop, tuck the back toes, Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the right leg up. And step the right foot forward, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. So already preparing to come up into a crescent lunge. Next inhale, arms up. So thinking of reaching up through the crown of the head before adding a gentle back bend, arching from the upper back. Next exhale, lower onto your fingertips, round the back slightly, step the front foot back, press both palms, tabletop, exhale, child's pose. Inhale. Kneeling with the arms up, exhale, gentle back bend. Exhale, lower, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. And walk the feet forward, forward full. Inhale, chair's pose. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, we actually unroll up into standing. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Inhale, into chair. Exhale, into forward fold. The next inhale, we'll step the left foot this time and lower the back knee. 
but keep the pelvis higher lift up into a half kneeling so both knees 90 degrees and point the tailbone towards the back as you extend the front leg keep the front foot relaxed and sternum or the chest bone facing towards the front leg and gradually lower towards the front leg thinking of touching the abdomen onto the uh, upper thigh of the front leg so utilize few cycles of breath to go deeper after a while you might be able to lower into fingertips or palms keep the spine kind of lengthened rather than uh, rounding one more breath and inhale come up bend the front knee lower into fingertips step back tabletop exhale child's pose inhale come up kneeling arms up exhale gentle back bend stay for one breath exhale lower child's pose inhale press up tabletop tuck the toes inhale exhale downward facing dog lift the left leg up for a bit and then step the left foot forward lower the back knee rise up into half kneeling both knees 90 degrees and as you point the tailbone towards the back extend the front leg <coughs> turning the sternum towards the front leg and start to gradually lower bringing the abdomen to meet the upper front thigh same with the other side utilize several cycles of breath to Continue going deeper. And then inhale to rise up, bend the front knee, lower on the fingertips, step back tabletop, exhale child's pose. Inhale, rise up, kneeling and add the gentle back bend exhale child's pose inhale tabletop tuck the toes another exhale bring you into downward facing dog <coughs> and walk feet forward into forward. inhale child's pose sorry chairs Exhale forward fold. Next inhale, slowly unroll. Let your arms hanging. Relax by your side. Mountain. <coughs> inhale arms up. Exhale forward fold. Swan dive into forward fold. The next inhale, if you can lower more, you can always go back to chair pose or maybe this time lower all the way down to a squat inhale press up forward fold and the next inhale step the right leg back lower the back knee one more time rising up into a half kneeling hands in prayer so keep the prayer hands in the center of your heart as you twist your upper back or the, or the thoracic spine to the left yeah. and start lowering the right elbow towards the left knee yeah. some of you will stay here if you are able to actually bring the right arm to the outer side of the left leg you can do so yeah so either in prayer 
This way? Or this way? So variation of a twisted side angle. Okay, to come up, raise up the torso slightly before you untwist back to the center. Lower into fingertips, step back, tabletop, and then chance pose. Inhale, extended kneeling with a gentle arch back. Exhale, chance pose. Inhale, tabletop, tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg up for a bit and then step the right foot forward. Rise up into half kneeling and hands in prayer. So second side of the twisted side angle variation. So first one is keep the hand hands back. Hands you twist the upper spine right and left elbow towards the right knee. If you're able to bring the left arm to the outer side of the right leg, and this is your variation. Okay, so either in prayer hands or left palm down and then to come up bring the torso up then untwist lower into fingertips tabletop exhale child's pose inhale kneeling arch back child's pose inhale press up tabletop exhale Downward facing dog. And walk your hands, sorry, your feet towards your hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into child's pose or lower into a squat. And then forward fold. Rise up. This time you can extend the arms up. And exhale arms by your side position uh, yourself right now to the center of your mat and facing one of the long edge of your mat feet slightly apart heels under your sitting bones inhale arms up uh, right hand pull the left wrist to the right as you side bend Inhale center and then switch left hand, pull the right wrist to the left, side bend, inhale center and then place your forearms stuck in front of your chest, bend the knee slightly, inhale, exhale, hop uh, the feet apart, arms to the side and bring the heel slightly in. Exhale, squat or goddess squat. Inhale, rise up. Turn the right foot out. So facing the long edge of the mat, eh, the short edge, short edge of the mat. And bring the other foot slightly in. Reach the right hand forward and lower it down into triangle pose. Bend the right knee slightly and press up, swivel the feet. So now, left foot facing the short edge of the mat, right foot slightly in towards the center line. Reach your left hand forward and drop it down. Triangle on the second side. Keep the side body long in the triangle. Bend the left knee slightly and then press up. Readjust the feet. So heel slightly in. Exhale. Go the squat. Inhale, press up. And take another inhale. Bend the knee slightly and exhale, hop in. So chair pose with the forearms. 
Stack in front of the chest. Inhale. Arms up. Side bend to the right. Center. Side bend to the left. Center. Inhale. Bend the knee slightly. Exhale. Jump. Feet apart. Heels in. Exhale. Goddess squat. Inhale. Press up. And this time, we'll start to the left side. So again, turn the left foot facing the short edge of the mat and bring the other foot a little bit even uh, towards the center line. We'll turn the, also the torso facing the short edge of the mat on the left. And we are moving into pyramid pose. So point the tailbone towards the back, keeping the spine neutral, lengthening through the crown of the head, hinging from the hips, start lowering towards the left leg. So same thing, thinking of pressing the uh, abdomen into the upper thigh of the front leg. After a while, you may be able to lower into your fingertips or even maybe your palms but keep the spine lengthened and to come up bend the left knee slightly and rise up readjust the feet so now we are turning into the short edge of the mat on the right side so the back foot is uh, almost facing on the same direction as the front foot towards the short edge of the mat start by pointing the tailbone towards the back hinging from the hips long neutral spine gradually lower into pyramid pose lowering maybe onto your fingertips or if you have a long arms you might be able to lower to your palms one more breath we'll come up with the inhale but bend the front knee first and rise up Turn back facing the long edge of the mat, readjust the feet, heel slightly in, arms out to the side, inhale, exhale, go to squat, inhale, come up, stack the forearms, bend the knee slightly, inhale, exhale, Charles, chair's pose, inhale, rise up, side bend to one side, Inhale, center, and side bend to the second side. Inhale, center, stack the forearms. Inhale, exhale, and this time turn the right foot out, facing the short edge of the mat. And we'll return to a half kneeling. So lower the back knee, hands in prayer, keep the prayer hands at the center of your uh, chest as you twist your thoracic spine to the right and lower. So again same thing, either left elbow lower into the right knee or some of you might be able to bring the left left arm on the outside of the right leg so this is the variation we did before we'll add something into this which is tucking the back toes and lifting the back knee right. so some of you might be here or those still in the prayer 
arms will be here. Okay, and then to come out of the pose, you will lower the back knee first, lifting your torso up before you untwist. Okay. So we are back in the half kneeling. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, turn, swivel to the other side, start with the half kneeling, hands in prayer, move into a twist, lower the elbow to the knee, so either here or if you can bring the right arm to the outer side or the, of the left leg. And from there, you can actually look down to help with the balance as you tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. So twisted side angle. One more breath. To come out, look down again, lower the back knee. Raise the, raise the torso before you untwist and tuck the back toes one more time lifting the back knee swivel <laughs> facing towards the long edge of the mat heels in arms out inhale exhale got the squat inhale rise up bend the knee slightly inhale and jump inhale Arms up, side bend to one side, exhale, inhale, exhale, side bend to the other side, inhale center, stack the forearms, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, jump, exhale, go to squat, and with the next inhale, we will bring the right leg towards the left leg and lifting into a chair spot into a three pose inhale exhale open the right leg to the side back into goddess pose inhale left leg to the right three pose so let's add some arm movement so hands in prayer in three pose and then step out, goddess, three pose, open to goddess, back into three pose, open goddess, three, goddess, three, and last one into a goddess hold and extend both knees arms to the side this time actually we will lower into a wide legged forward fold so readjust the feet so toes are pointing forward heels and toes align hands by your waist Exhale, hinging from the hips without rounding the back. Lower into halfway, 90 degrees. And lower onto your fingertips or your palms. Keep the spine long. You may stay here. Keep the head relaxed. Or if you want to go deeper, you may start walking your hands inward, place them in between your feet and lowering the crown of your head towards the floor. Squeezing your shoulders 
towards each other. And one more breath. Inhale, rise up. Walk your hands forward, hands under your shoulders. And start to heel toes, your feet closer. Until you are back in just a regular forward fold with the feet closer. And take one big breath in slowly, unroll your spine, back into standing, step into the front of your mat, inhale arms up, exhale forward fold, inhale halfway lift, exhale forward fold, with the next inhale, bend the knees to lower your pelvis down, arms reaching forward, lower until you sit all the way down and roll onto your back, extending the legs over your head and bend your knees, roll forward, press up into forward fold and then rise up, exhale forward fold, inhale halfway lift Exhale and fold. The next inhale, arms forward, lowering the pelvis down. Sit and roll back. Halasan. Roll forward. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Last one. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. In the next inhale, sit down, roll back, halasana, and stay lay down on the mat. Bend the knees, prepare on the floor. <coughs> Arms by your side, palm facing up. Bring the thighs towards your chest and shift your pelvis slightly to the left and drop both legs to the right side recline spinal twist and you can turn your neck looking to the left hand you may start closing your eyes here we'll soon transition to shavasana where we'll hold um, spinal twist on each side for several cycles of breath Inhale, turn back to the center, bring the knees up, shift the pelvis across the center and now slightly to the right side and drop both legs to the left and turn your neck looking towards the right hand. Keep the eyes closed or gaze softly. Another few cycles of breathing here Inhale, turn your head back to the center, bring the knees up, realign the pelvis to the center. <coughs> bring your 
feet wider than um, so feet about um, mat width distance and let the knees knock inward we'll do a simple uh, pranayama here while uh, laying down um, so I, I will come up into seated position so I can show you the how to do the pranayama uh, more clearly but you will stay on your uh, laying down position so the the pranayama is called sitkari is a, is a type of cooling uh, pranayama so you will open your mouth and press your teeth together as if you are uh, about to brush your teeth but don't clench the jaw so tightly it's, it's just simply aligning the upper and the bottom row of the teeth and you will inhale through your uh, teeth so inhale through the mouth and you will close your mouth retain the breath for as long as you can when your body tells you to exhale you will exhale out through the nose and again inhale through the teeth close the mouth sustain the breath and exhale through the nose when you need to continue inhale through the teeth close your mouth exhale through the nose when you need to exhale so we'll do uh, five more so we, we I think we completed three so let's make a total of eight and do it at your own pace When you complete, return to your natural breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. <coughs> and we'll transition into Shavasana. Extend your legs one at a time. Keep your arms relaxed by your side. You can bring your shoulder blades up, press down and back. So, Stretching the upper trapezius muscle. You can also shake your head side to side to release the neck further. And let the head come to a stop by itself. Return to your breath. drop into the state of shavasana finding comfort in the stillness and let your body rest
start to deepen your breathing. Take one inhale through the nose and exhale it out through the mouth with a sigh. Inhale through the nose and exhale. One more. Start to wiggle your toes and fingertips. Bring your legs together, raise your arms overhead and give yourself one big stretch and release. <clears throat> Pull your knees to your chest as you roll onto your side and stay curl up on your side for a couple more breaths. Start to open your eyes and press up into seated position. Raise your arms overhead, press your palms together. Let's make a prayer and lower the prayer into the center of our hearts. As always, thank you for joining me in this practice. Stay well. Stay cool and hope to see you next time. Namaste.